हरे कृष्णा वी मे फर्गेट ग्रैविटी बट ग्रैविटी वोंट फर्गेट आज सपोज समबडी क्लाइम्स स्टेप्स ऑफ अ टेन स्टोरी बिल्डिंग एंड सपोज इज अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड हु डजेंट नो अबाउट ग्रैविटी और हु इज फर्गॉटन अबाउट इट ना जिस बिकॉज दे आर फर्गॉटन अबाउट ग्रैविटी डजेंट मीन ग्रैविटी विल फर्गेट दैम gravity will take over and bring them crashing down so gravity is a universal inexorable principle and similarly for us we have to understand that there are laws of nature and just as gravity is one law of nature similarly there is a law of karma and these laws are universal and inexorable nobody can have immunity from the law of karma so our actions have consequences if we forget that that doesn't mean the consequences will forget coming upon us the consequences will come maybe sooner maybe later but every action has its consequence and understanding this is vital now is this just a belief system that oh you believe actions have consequences no we see that this is how all, all of nature is science operates based on the presumption that nature operates according to coherent laws and we have advanced in scientific knowledge by discovering those laws from the microscopic level to the macroscopic level we see so many laws operational in the universe that they shape the interaction of matter and similarly in our day to day lives we have systems of law for conscious beings governing their actions we have ourselves created certain systems of law so both from the way we humans interact with each other wherein we consider each other accountable for our actions and the way science has revealed nature to be we see that there there is accountability for our actions and therefore we need to contemplate what we are doing and consider the consequences of those actions and then act accordingly if we act impulsively we will be acting frequently destructively and just because we did not consider the destruction does not mean that the destruction will not come it will surely come upon us and that's why the bhagavad gita tells that the wise people contemplate their actions in 16.7 while talking about the ungodly the demonic krishna says that pravrittim cha nivrittim cha janana vidura asura na shaucham na picha charo na satyam teshu vidyate it says that what is to be done and what is not to be done the demonic people don't know this and thus the things that are to be done that is cleanliness shaucham cha charo proper behavior satyam being truthful none of these are present and the later chapter will talk about how these ungodly people experience hellish consequences for their actions so by knowing that our actions have consequences we can contemplate carefully learn from the bhagavad gita the principle of cause and cause consequence correlation and carefully choose our actions so that we can create a bright future for ourselves